In this video, I'm gonna show you 10 hacks on how to use Google Search Console to diagnose and fix technical SEO issues. So according to Google's own website, Google Search Console, formerly known as Google Webmasters, is a web service which allows you to check indexing status, search queries, crawling errors, and optimize the visibility of your website. Google Search Console is a fantastic tool that I use every day for a variety of tasks, including technical SEO, keyword research, and general reporting. In this video, we're gonna look at 10 methods to identify and fix technical SEO issues. So let's go over to the computer and have a look now. So the first method we're gonna use Google Search Console for is to find and fix 404 errors. So a 404 error occurs when Google requests a URL that can't be found on the server. So how we identify this is if we go down here to indexing, if we click on pages and find a list of non-indexed URLs, from here it's fairly easy, you can just see here, not found 404, so I've got 47 pages here on this website. What we do from here to fix it is just simply implement a redirect. So for example, for this URL, we would just pick the most relevant live URL on the website and then implement a redirect, either using your content management system or implement a server-side redirect to ensure that anybody who clicks on this link is sent to a live URL on your website. So the second technical SEO issue we can diagnose on Google Search Console is Core Web Vitals. So Core Web Vitals are a set of metrics that Google use to determine a page's overall experience for users. Now Core Web Vitals are one of Google's ranking factors, so it's important for you to identify any issues that are causing poor scores and therefore causing a poor user experience for your website's visitors. So from Google Search Console, it's fairly easy. Just scroll down on the left and click on Core Web Vitals. And from here, we can open a report. The great thing about Search Console is you can just click down here, click on a set of URLs, and it groups them by issues. So here, for example, we can see that all of my URLs are failing on LCP, which is the largest contentful pane. So from Google's Core Web Vital report, we can pick specific URLs that aren't passing or aren't at a good standard, and then we can open the PageSpeed Insights tool. So the PageSpeed Insights tool breaks down the performance and tells you what you need to do to improve the score of each metric that Google tracks for Core Web Vitals. So next on the list is Google's URL inspection tool. So just down here underneath overview, all you have to do is put in any URL for your website and Google Search Console will inspect the URL. So after it's loaded, we can see that the page is currently indexed in Google. And what's really good about this tool is if you click here on page indexing, you can actually check that the URLs in your sitemap, we can see what pages are linking to this specific URL. We can see when it was last crawled, what bot it was crawled by, and as well, we can see what the canonical tag is for this URL. Make sure that there's actually one present and that Google agrees with us that this is the canonical URL for this page. So from inspecting this URL, we can see the URLs in the sitemap, what pages are linking to it, the canonical tag is correct on this page, and most importantly, it's in Google's search engine results. The next thing that we're gonna look at is Google's crawl request report. So how we access this is if we go down to settings on the bottom of the left, and then here we can see our crawl stats report. So all we have to do is open this report here. So what we can see from this report is how many crawl requests Google's bots have made each specific day, and we can use it to identify any issues with our server. We can also use it to see the average server response time. So obviously the lower this score, the better. We can see here from this website that the server response time shot up after Christmas day here. So it's worth investigating to see what's caused this spike in response time. In the crawl stats report, we can also see by Google bot types, so whether it's smartphone, desktop, or ads bot, for example, that's crawled our website. We can also see what response our server has given to these requests. 
So we can see that 72% of requests are returning a 200 response code. So it's turning a live page on the website. But 17%, which is really high, are returning 404 response codes, which is why it's important to redirect these to the most relevant page. The total download size tells us the total size of the resources that were downloaded during this period. The Crawl Stats Report is another great way to identify technical SEO issues. So for example, on this website, I've seen that the average response time has increased drastically over the last month. So it's important to look into why this has happened. So the next technical SEO check that we're gonna do in Google Search Console is we're gonna come down to this sitemap tab here and check that number one, we've got a sitemap submitted, and number two, that Google is able to successfully crawl the sitemap. So a sitemap is a list of all of our key canonical URLs that we want Google to discover. Our sitemap also gives Google an understanding of the architecture of our site and tells them how important each page is. Creating and adding a sitemap is really, really simple. You can do it on most CMSs and there's loads of free sitemap generators. It's one of the most simple technical SEO recommendations, but you'd be surprised how many websites don't have a sitemap implemented and submitted in Google Search Console. So the next technical SEO trick I'm gonna show you is how to remove a URL from Google search results. So you're probably thinking, why would you want to do this? Well, one example could be if you're displaying the wrong information on the search engine results page. So if there's wrong pricing or metadata coming through. So it's really simple to do this. All you have to do is click on removals. If we click new request, we can put the URL in here. So once we click next, it'll tell us here that the URL will be blocked from Google search for about six months. Now what we can do as well is obviously if we fix the issue, we can cancel this at any time. But this can be a really, really good tool if you notice you've got incorrect information or there's an error pulling through the wrong metadata and you wanna just remove your web page from Google when you fix it. So the next thing I wanna talk about is how to submit a disavow file. So a disavow file is a .txt file that allows you to tell Google to disregard backlinks that are pointing to your website. So you would do this if you discovered a significant amount of low value or spammy links were pointing to your website, or if you had a manual action or a manual penalty given to you by Google, so it's really, really easy to upload a disavow file. All you have to do is list the URLs in a .txt file, go to disavow from Google Search Console, and then you can just upload your disavow list. So ultimately, if you're not buying links, you don't really have anything to worry about. It's natural to pick up a few odd links now and there, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. But if you do notice a significant increase in what look like really low quality and spammy links, then it's definitely worth submitting a disavow file. Be cautious when you use this though, because what you don't want to do is block good natural backlinks that are passing on domain authority to your website. So that could obviously harm your visibility in search engines results. So next on the list are a couple of really, really quick technical SEO checks we can do. Down on the page experience tab, we can ensure that all of our URLs are being served securely. So we can see here for this website that all of the URLs are being served over HTTPS, which is correct, and we've got no non-secure URLs. This was a relatively quick check, but it just gives us peace of mind that we're serving our users secure URLs. From the page experience tab as well, we can also check that we've got good mobile usability. So this report here tells us that our web pages are mobile friendly and users are gonna have no issues when using a mobile device. The enhancements tab lets us check that we've correctly implemented structured data on our website. So structured data is a way to describe your web page to search engines and implementing this helps them understand it better and increases your chances of getting rich results. So I've rolled out breadcrumbs across all of my pages and I can see here 
that all of the pages are valid, so I can use this tool to check that my structured data has been implemented correctly. Another method I'd recommend to test your structured data is to use the Google Rich Results Test. So to use this, all we have to do is put in one of the URLs of our website, or any website for example, so you can use this tool to look at your competitors and see what structured data they've implemented. So all we've got to do is pop the URL in this testing tool and then we'll be able to see what structured data has been implemented on this page. So we've just used the rich results test to validate what we've seen in Google Search Console, but both of the methods are good to check your structured data has been implemented correctly. So if you don't have hundreds of dollars spare each month, to pay for SEO software and audit your backlinks, there's a free report in Google Search Console that will do this for you. So all we have to do is scroll down to the bottom and click on this links tab here. So here on external links we can see what are our top link to pages, we can see what sites are linking to us so effectively we can get a list of referring domains here and we can see what anchor text they're using. We can also use this link report to look at internal links and identify pages that maybe don't have quite as many internal links as we'd like. So we can use this for both a backlink analysis tool and a tool to identify internal linking opportunities within your website. My last Google Search Console technical SEO recommendation is quite specific but it's to do with JavaScript sites. So using Google Search Console we can input our URL and inspect the URL and then view the crawled page. Once we've viewed the crawled page, we can effectively see the HTML that Google has rendered. So when we're auditing a JavaScript heavy site, we can use this tool to make sure Google can crawl and render the HTML correctly. So the methods we discussed are just some of the ways that you can use Google Search Console to diagnose and fix technical SEO issues. I'm a massive fan of Google Search Console due to the fact that it's free and you can use it in all areas of SEO including technical SEO, SEO strategy and keyword research. Now if you found this video valuable don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you come back for next week's video.